Hey guys, we're here at the LA Auto Show and I've got an interesting question for you. What do you think is the second fastest car, quickest car in Toyota's lineup? Yep, it's right there behind me. It was just unveiled a few minutes ago. And you may be thinking to yourself, but Roman, that's not a fast car, that's a crossover. Tell me, what do you think about that? Yeah, so this is the new Toyota RAV4 Prime and Toyota says it will do zero to 60 in just five, 0.8 seconds, 302 horsepower. Yep, that's right. So what does the Prime mean? Well, the Prime, of course, means that it is a plug-in hybrid. So that's why it's so fast, because now Toyota, as well as other manufacturers like the Mach-E, are using electricity to not just make a car efficient, but to make it fast. And Tommy, what's the fastest car Toyota builds? Yep, it's the Toyota Supra. Yeah, why don't you give them a walk around, show it to them. So what makes the Prime unique besides the fact that it is Toyota's fastest car, is of course that Toyota is now getting into a much more electrified future. Once upon a time, of course, Toyota was the first company that came up with the hybrid drive, which of course was taking electricity and pairing it to an electric motor and an internal combustion engine and creating a car like the Prius that was, well, very efficient and of course, very good but not exactly fast, right, Tommy? Yeah, now, funny thing about the Prime. Yep. Do you remember the old school RAV4 V6? Yep. With that big old 3.5 liter I V6? Do. Well, Toyota says that the RAV4 Prime you see here is actually half a second faster to 60 than that car. That did it in 6.3. This car will do it in 5.8. So they're using hybridization, not only for efficiency, but for performance. So Toyota says about 39 miles of all electric range is what they're targeting on this vehicle. And it's only available in two different trims. So it's only available in SC and XSE. Yeah, so if you guys are out there and you're kind of at a stoplight, and one of these bad boys rolls up next to you, or even the uh, previous generation, actually the first generation RAV4, and it's got the little V6 badge, I promise you, you do not want to race that car because they are fast. Now, this one, of course, is all-wheel drive. It is all-wheel drive. Yeah. So it's uh, going to be all-weather capable. Now, it uses a very similar all-wheel drive system to actually the standard Toyota RAV4 hybrid. So front-wheel drive is a gas, and then the rear is powered by electricity. Now, Toyota also unveiled a new other car here, which you know about, and I'll see if, they'll, if they're ready to flip it over. So are you guys going to flip it, flip it over? Are you going to flip we it over? Yeah. All right. All right, I'll tell them we're done, and maybe we can flip it over. Yeah, go for it. All right, here we go. Right. We're about to see something uh, that you saw first on the fast lane car, and if all goes well, the uh, RAV4 Prime will go away and we're going to see another vehicle in its place. And Tom, you actually did a video on the video on the car that's about to get unveiled here. That's exactly right. So this is another vehicle that uses... I got to get the guy in there. Toyota's... So I didn't know you were ready to okay. try to catch it. All right. That's all right. We're waiting for the guy, of course. <laughs> this is the great thing about YouTube. So this is another vehicle that's also using Toyota's electrification. Um, but this time, it's, well, it's totally different. And hopefully, they'll spin it around and we'll see that coming through. And you know what, um, I'm going to give you a clue as to what this vehicle is that spins around. It's a vehicle that is partially electric and uses hydrogen that is used to actually charge the battery that then powers, it's not quite that simple, it's a little bit more complicated than that. The battery actually gets regen, the hydrogen of course powers the front wheels and the last generation of this vehicle, well let's just say it wasn't... Um, it was a little stylistically challenged, wouldn't yeah, you say? It Tony? was. So we're, of course, I'm about the Toyota Mirai, which will hopefully get spun around here very shortly. Now, the first gen Mirai was this kind of front-wheel drive, funny-looking hatchback thing. Yep. The second gen is pretty gorgeous. Yeah. Now you saw it early. There was an early prototype of it that you got to see, and we, well, I'm, I'm you know, pretty excited because um, I think that electric cars and specifically hydrogen cars should be sexy, you know what I mean? I mean, they should be sleek. And if you ask me, Tommy, the magic behind the um, secret sauce of Tesla is that what Tesla did, which I think was successful, is right, they- so you guys filming, you're ready to yep, go? Yeah, yeah let's film it, roll it, right. roll it. So, the, the, the magic was that they took the Jetsons, right? The car of the future, and they built it. So they completely reinvented not just how the car is powered, electricity, but how it's bought, how it's sold, how it's serviced. And I think with this car that's about to spin up, 
you know, we can get the same thing. Now, Tommy, you, you know more about this Mariah than I do. So I, I do. I'll let you kind of uh, talk to him about it because I, I don't know much about well, the new one. I know a lot about the old one, but this is a new one. Quite honestly, we don't know a whole lot about the new one um, because it's, a, it's a, a really a brand new model. But here it comes. This is a new 2021 Toyota Mirai. Now, unlike the old one, like I mentioned, this is a rear wheel drive platform. Speculation is it's gonna be based on a short wheelbase LS platform or Lexus LS platform. And you can really see that in the design. So it's now definitely more of a coupe-like profile, definitely more of a coupe-like design. And compared to the old one, I mean, this is a, it's a real stunner. You know, Tommy, I see a lot of Audi in this uh, in oh, a yeah? lot of ways. Yeah, it's, it's like, very kind of wide versus tall a lot of angular horizontal lines and uh, yeah a really interesting and cool car why don't you walk around and show them the back end because we're missing that let's, yeah. see what that, let's see what the back looks like and this is of course the 2021 I think the back is just as good looking as the front, Tommy, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I do. I think actually the back is better than the front. I like that kind of whole light bar. Yeah, I love the wheels. I love how fat the tires are. Now, of course, the upside to a fuel cell car is it uses hydrogen and nothing comes out with the exhaust except for water. Uh, and you can fill it up in about the same time that you could fill up, let's say, a regular gasoline power car yeah. uh, because you're basically putting in hydrogen. Now, of course, the question with hydrogen is where does the hydrogen come from? How much energy does it take to create that hydrogen? Is it actually more fuel efficient? But, you know, to me, the future is not just electrification, but there's going to be different choices for different people. You know, some of you guys out there probably love the Hellcats of the world. I do. I'm a proud former owner of a Hellcat, so I appreciate that. But at the same time, I think choice is great. So if you want traditional internal combustion engine car, if you want a fuel cell car like this where nothing comes out but H2O, or if you want a pure electric car, that's all good, I think. And at the end of the day, we're living through, as the Chinese curse says, interesting times. And you know what? That's a good thing. It really is a good thing, as long as it stays affordable. So a um, couple last things. The vehicle we just saw, the RAV4 plug-in hybrid, the RAV4 Prime, will be available summer of 2020. This car you see in front of us is still quite a bit out. You can see actually there's no interior on this model. It's all just an exterior shell. So we've got a long wait for the 2021. hydrogen spec. Well, it's 2021 model here. Yeah. But still a little bit of a wait for the hydrogen spec Mirai. And of course, there's a question of hydrogen stations. There's only 30 some in the US. So a little while to go there. Well guys, thanks for joining us for another reveal from the LA Auto Show. Remember, if you've got questions for us, don't send us an email like you all do because what we do is we answer your questions on a new show what car or truck should i buy monday and friday at noon uh, pst time and if you want to like have a direct conversation with us that's a great way to do it because you can super chat us and we can have a little get together virtually at least well thanks for watching and tommy thank you for being behind the camera yep we'll see you guys next time here at the fast lane